Welcome back to the official YouTube channel of TequilaReviews.com, where we review tequila and just put an average Joe's touch on what is quickly becoming the number one industry in spirits. Today, I'm going to review a tequila called Gran Caba de Oro. Now, as you see, this has a very nice bottle, very nice presentation. I know with like the lights on and the bar and the bling bling going on, it's probably not the easiest thing to see, but it's a very nice bottle. I'm just going to read you some of the things that uh, are on the bottle. Um, it's actually all pretty much all in Spanish. It's made in Mexico, which is pretty obvious if you enjoy tequila. You already know that. Their website's cavadeoro.com. You can read more about it there. Um, imported and distributed by the Garcia International Beverage Company out of uh, Pomona, California. I once went to a cockfight in Pomona, and um, pretty cool place, actually. So, anyways, this is an extra añejo, and if you know anything about that, you're going to know that it's typically on the sweeter side, and it is the longest aging process of any tequila that you're going to find. Now, I've already done my written review of this tequila. I've sampled it many, many times, and if you've read that on my site, you've seen that. Today, I'm going to do a live tasting for you. I just did the video on why you drink tequila out of different side of glasses, and I'm going to use that glass. Again, this is not the best glass to drink it out of. These are specifically made tequila glasses. Now, the long stem Rito glasses are actually much, much better from everything I've read. Mine are coming in the mail. I'll be checking that out real soon. But I'm going to use this because, again, it's a tequila made glass, and it's a lot better than a shot glass. Again, as I said in my last video, the shot glasses do not let you experience the entire flavor profile of any tequila. You're just not going to get, you know, the right nose out of it if you smell it. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. All right, it's sat for a while, and I'm going to dive right into this tequila, which, again, I've written about and talked about on the site. This is my video review, which I'm doing probably a couple months after um, actually you know, drinking this tequila. Now, this tequila here is a $99 tequila, so it's certainly nothing that's you know, in, the, in the cheap variety, um, and, and I'll tell you why in a minute. You know, It certainly is very good tequila, but you got to have a really sweet palate for that. you got to enjoy that. I'm not into sweets. Um, you know, if I eat sweets, it's going to be some Thai donuts after eating some sashimi at the Japanese place. I'm not really into sweets myself. I don't eat ice cream every night. Um, I don't eat candy. You know, my candy is beer or tequila. So that's just simply where I'm at. You got to pick and choose your battles. And, and my battles are chosen on the alcohol front instead of the uh, sugar front. I don't drink soda unless it's in a rum, um, you know, bad rum at that. So at any rate, here we go. Gran Cava de Oro. Extra Nijo Tequila. It's got a really nice nose. A lot of flavors jumping out of me there. Again, you don't want to take an aggressive sip of this because it's almost overwhelming how sweet this tequila is. It tastes like I had either... Uh, if you ever had those syrups from Whole Foods, the agave syrups, you know they're supposed to be healthier because they're not full of sugar, they're just blue agave. That's sort of what it tastes like. I mean, I could put this on a waffle if it was a little bit thicker, and I'd be totally fine with that. In fact, that's actually a pretty good idea for a hangover cure, just pour this on a waffle. But again, the, the, the flavor profile on this is just way too sweet for me. It, it's nothing that I could drink every single day. It's an after-dinner drink, if you ask me, and I wrote about that on my blog. Check out the review. Um, if you, if you type in the brand name, you'll find it right there on Google, or you can just go to tequilareviews.com, click on the extra Nijos, and go down, and you'll see the Grand Cava de Oro there. It's very sweet. It's almost overwhelming for me. Uh, I drink a Nijos, but um, this is just too sweet for me. And I hate to bash. It's a good product with such an amazing presentation. I mean, just look at the cat. They even give you a little extra bonus. Shot at the cap, which I think is cool because so many tequilas are so stingy. Uh, this is a 750 and 99 bucks. Again, Don Julio Real is my favorite one in this category, and that runs for well, it's pretty much market price because it's a commodity. I've seen it as low as 279, as high as 479, um, but that's about half the bottle there. So again, uh, I don't get that that same sweetness with Don Julio Añejo and uh, sorry, extra Añejo with the Real, um, but this here is just. I mean, I, I, I'm almost going to pour it. I don't want to pour it out. I'm not going to pour it out at 99 bucks. 
that's a lot of tequila still left and I'm going to finish it off. But it's just something I would pour over ice cream um, or at waffles in the morning, which is going to be a sweet social experiment. I'll probably do that in an upcoming video. But again, I didn't think I would do it justice without reviewing it at 99 bucks. This is certainly a premium tequila. And I've seen it, you know, blogged about a lot and I don't see a lot of people arguing with me. I see some people saying the same stuff and I hate to bash any brand, but you know, this thing did win. Um, it says it on the bottle, the spirits of Mexico. I actually read that elsewhere too. It did win the winner in the spirits of Mexico uh, competition, I guess in 2012. So obviously someone has a belief in this product and, and believes it's a good one. But myself, it's just not for me. It's a little bit too sweet. It does have a lot of taste to it. I mean, the vanilla that I taste, um, real, I don't know, I taste oak. Your mileage may vary, but I taste oak and a lot of caramel, but almost like sappy caramel versus, you know, like a little bit lighter hint of it. So that's where I'm at with this one. I'm going to finish this. I can't say that I'm going to enjoy it. I wish I could say I could, but... um. You know, again, this is not my alley. If you like sweet stuff, this is going to be perfect for you. So I fully recommend this, even though it is a little bit pricey. If you can afford that price, then, you know, this might be a tequila for you for an after-dinner drink. For me, I'd rather have a Sambuca. So thanks for watching this video, and I'm going to finish this up.